Hey, YouTube subscribers and fans and uh, shooting folks of all types. I'm here in Missouri, the best state in the Union, with a gun that came in eh, a couple months ago. Excuse me, a couple weeks ago that I forgot I ordered. Now, this has happened to me before. It'll happen again. A company, maybe Smith & Wesson, decided they were going to release a new pistol. And I called my favorite place, the Gun Grove in Macon, Missouri www.gungrove.com, the gun grove. I called the gun grove and I said, Chelsea, I need a new pistol that's just coming out because I think it's going to be a real hoot to shoot. See what I did there? I walk in a couple weeks ago and she shows it to me. And I said, what pistol are you talking about? And she said, this one, the X-Frame, Smith & Wesson, in 350 Legend. Now, I have no reason to own a 350 Legend at all. I live in a state that's free, a state that's, uh, uh, if you will, advanced in their ideals, and a state that you can actually do stuff that's cool in, like use a rifle during deer season. Now, if you don't live in one of these states, like Iowa, part of Minnesota, I think maybe part of Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, some of these places have slug-only restrictions. Now, those have been lifted in recent years to include straight-walled rifle cartridges. What is a straight walled rifle cartridge? Well, it's a cartridge that is not bottlenecked like the 308, but is straight. Could be a 4570, could be a 444, could be a 357 Magnum or a 44 Magnum or a 375 Winchester or a 3855 Winchester or any number of things. A 405 Winchester, maybe if you're really nostalgic. Or it could be a 350 Legend. Now, why may it be a 350 Legend? Well, when they brought out these straight wall rifle regulations in all of these states, um, you had people screaming from the top of their lungs saying, look, this is great, but we can't use America's gun. That's the AR-15. You can't use the AR-15 because most all of these straight wall rifle cartridges are rimmed, meaning they have a rim that goes beyond the outside of the brass. Some of them don't feed well. Mostly, I think, people wanted more magazine capacity. So... You take something like a 50 Beowulf, which is a gigantic round, right? It's very cool, very awesome. Invented by Bill Alexander, the inventor of the 6.5 Grendel. One of the best, if not the best, round ever chambered in a 6.5, or excuse me, in an AR. When you put a 50 Beowulf into a uh, little 10-round PMAG like this, I believe you only get four rounds. Maybe three, but four, I think, is what it is. So... Cuts your round capacity to less than 50%. Same with the 450 Bushmaster that was introduced shortly after these short wall rifle cartridges um, came out, or these short wall rifle cartridge laws came out. So people got together that were smarter than me, very smart engineers and ammo companies in Winchester and like, and said, let's make a case. Now let's make a round that has the same case size as a 223. You know what? Let's make it based off the 223. We'll just straighten it out. 223 now is a 350 legend it's a straight wall cartridge here's a mag a 10 round p mag with 223 ammo in it all i gotta do is slide in a 350 legend around look what happens bam goes in bullet chamber in your ar no no neck won't chamber won't even go part of the way in hardly anyhow so smith and wesson brings out this badass giant x-frame revolver right and 350 Legend, and I think this thing is going to be great. If you've ever shot a 460 Smith or a 500 out of the X frame, it's cool and all, but it's kind of like uh, the movie Twister when um, when the gal asks if there's a you know what, what about an F what what about the tornadoes the F1 the F2 the F3 the F4 is is there an F5 and Dusty God rest his soul looks at her and says, that'd be like the thunder of God. Well, that's kind of what the 500 Smith and 460 do, unless you use a 45 Long Colt or something like that in the 460, because they weigh a lot, they're big, heavy pistols. But this guy, not shot it yet. I'm going to shoot it. But all my reports are saying that this is a real pussycat. The gun weighs about, I don't know, 16 pounds. Um, it's got this little bitty case. It, it, it's imposing to a point. Yes, it is a rifle caliber. There it is next to a 308 cartridge. So you can see, basically, when you take a, a 460 or 500, you're taking something a little bigger than a 308 and stuffing a giant bullet in it, 50 cal or 45 cal bullet. Um, this really is 
I mean, look at them next to an AR. This is based off an AR. You're not, you're not going for broke here, okay? You're going for practicality. You're going for usefulness. You're going for a gun that can be that will shoot and cycle. Excuse me, a round that will shoot and cycle well. An AR and AR sized firearms, not AR tens, AR fifteens, light ones. Um, so the only drawback to using a non rimmed cartridge is the issue with this the issue of how that round just sits barely out of there and if you were to shoot it would uh fly down into the chamber just wouldn't work might even just shove forward into that into the chamber into the cylinder and never even do anything so what do we do to fix that we take a i don't know 100 year old technology called a moon clip now, the cool thing about this gun, it's a seven and a half inch barrel gun, single port, which I really wish it didn't have for noise. High vis front, regular Smith & Wesson adjustable, notch sights, great trigger. You take this and make it a seven round gun as opposed to the sixes and the big, you know, what the X-Frame is made for. This is a moon clip. Back in the early 1900s, they invented moon clips as like the early type of speed loader. So they look like this easy to see but usually they're six rounds right so your old uh, uh your 38 short 38 long 38 special your 45 shorts your 45 smiths your 45 you know you get the drift the old revolver cartridges they would sit either full six rounds or half three and three now solved a problem a cop or a soldier could carry moon clips either the three or sixes Bam. You can open up the gun, bam, drop it in, boom, have a loaded gun ready to go. Very quick and very easy, very efficient. Um, they don't get used a lot anymore, but because we're using a non-rimmed cartridge, we have to use them in this round. Now, I really don't mind it, kind of a pain in the butt, but all in all, I think it's going to be a fun pistol. I've got some of these, uh, you know, white box, white box Winchester, which is like a 145 game bullet at 2200 feet a second. I've also got some of these really cool Hornady subsonic um, 250 grain, I believe, bullets. Now, because this is a pistol, this is not the 16 inch barrel it's supposed to go out of, you're only gonna get like 800 feet a second out of these. So, what do you do? Still be fun to shoot, right? So, when I get to the range, the video will come on that. The gun is cool. Again, seven and a half inch barreled X-Frame Smith & Wesson Model 350 Legend. Go get one. I think this will be a rare bird. There's not a lot of them around. Any of the X-Frame guns uh, have a great return on investment. They don't make a ton of them. They don't sell a ton of them. I think this will be akin to the old 17 HMR in the Smith. So there's your tip for the day. Go to the Gun Grove, G-U-N-R, excuse me, G-U-N-G-R-O-V-E dot com. Check out their newest um, additions every day and all their inventory and all the cool stuff and call them. They can get you what you want. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of firearms and scopes and ammo and everything in stock you'd ever want. Or if you're ever in Macon, Missouri, give them a visit. Thanks, you all. Talk soon.